Yes. Hey everybody, my name is Shelby. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you've been here before, thank you for being a returning customer. We aim to please here. Today I took some time and I made a look that I feel like it's gonna last me all day. That was my goal. I got some stuff to do today. I love the way it turned out. I used some new products, including something from Too Faced and from the I Love Sarahi Dose of Colors collection collection if you'd like to see how i got this look and if you'd just like to hang out with me stay tuned comment down below shout out tell me hi give me some suggestions subscribe and comment below and let's get started uh, today i have a really big day planned i got a lot going on the two biggest things are a wedding and a baby shower i want to look good from the point i leave the house the point i leave the house until i get back so that means I'm gonna have to step up the level of foundation I usually wear. Today, I wanna put this on and I don't want it to move. So I'm gonna be trying out a new foundation. I'm gonna be trying the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I grabbed two sample shades from Sephora, 65 Warm and 67 Cool, which should be interesting because depending on how my skin is behaving, I could be either one. Uh, so let's, let's see what happens. I'm going to swatch them on my neck and then I'll and then I'll go from there. So this is the first one. This is the 65 Warm. It looks a little bit like my Fenty color. Let's see, we'll put that there. That looks a little, mm, I could shear that out, but it's supposed to be full coverage, so shearing might not work. And that looks possible. Let's see, let's, let's blend that out. And see, I'm looking at my viewer here. Okay, okay. And then this one. Hmm. I think I'm definitely gonna go with this one. And granted, I do not usually wear full coverage like this, so let's see what happens. If it looks like a mask, of course, we will do something different. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I think I mentioned already, I do already have primer on and I've got my Peach Luster on, so I'm ready to go. And once again, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D 67, which is, it says it's cool, but it looks pretty warm, so I'm excited to, uh, to try this out. Ooh, she's thick. Ooh, like, thick like, <laughs> I won't say like my MAC lip gloss, more like cake filling? Is that possible? Let me not go too ham with this, cause Oh no, she's pretty thick. And granted, I do like my foundation a little bit darker because when I get that really nice contrast between the highlighted area and, hmm, yeah, under eye and then the contour, I don't know, I just get a little happy. I get a little giddy. I like that look. And uh, I feel like sometimes it's hard to get if you are, if you don't have everything balanced in the right place. Let's go. I'm gonna try the Beauty Blender on this side, which is damp, and then I'm gonna try a brush on this side. How is that? This is, can y'all see that? That's supposed to be cool. That is orange, orange. Okay, <laughs> I do have somewhere to go. Um, let me see if I add the other color in, otherwise we're just gonna have to hop to Fenty full force and just uh, layer up. Oh. <laughs> This is sexy. This is a sexy look. Yes. Mm. That's a no, folks. Please hold. Okay. We are back. Um, I had to go do that off camera because uh, that Kat Von D stuff low-key like adhered to my face which I guess is its job but um, since it, we weren't really making friends really well it didn't make sense for me to keep going you know how you're on a first date and you realize mm, better cut it better cut it okay so Mac NW45 um, the pro long wear NW45 I also have a sample of this uh, I'm not gonna be yes see look at that that's what I wanted from Kat. Yeah, I didn't realize that the Kat Von D was, uh, like I got the shades that were next to each other. Uh, comment below if you've tried 
the uh, locket tattoo and if uh, if you have the same had the same experience I mean was it perfect for you I know with full coverage foundations they need to be pretty close because they don't really sheer out you know that's that's the whole point they are um, hmm, they lightweight like new skin so they better be the right color due to our previous issue I had to get another beauty blender um, and I still will try one and one because I like beauty blenders, but also I just really freaking love this brush. It's my baby. And it was so affordable. The consistency of the MAC is, um, it's more watery, but my understanding is that actually that it is full coverage and long wearing and it is um, waterproof, which I've never actually worn before. And uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes. But, but look at that. <laughs> look at, ooh. ooh. I think that I like the way this looks on my skin. It's a little darker, but I do like my foundation darker. So we're gonna roll with it. Um, it doesn't feel tacky. I don't think it's transfer proof. So we'll be mindful of that. Um, let's go ahead and do some highlight. This is the, Born This Way, there it is. Born This Way in the color Butterscotch. I just got the Fenty, I just got the Fenty Matchstick in Latte. I really like that. I'm trying not to OD on it because, but one, I mean, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't super cheap. And two, I, 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 I want to transition myself into the cream stuff. So in this here, It's also gonna be actually pretty, uh, it's gonna be warm today and I'll be in warm areas. Only some of the time will I actually be, only some of the time will I be outside today. So I'll get to see how this holds up indoors and outdoors. It's interesting, as I'm applying this, one, I mean, I love the, I love the contrast, but as I'm applying this, I'm noticing that I feel more drag from the, uh, ooh, on top of the foundation than I feel like I normally would, which is interesting. Not bad, or at least not that I can tell yet, but um, I mean, it could turn out to be good. Now let's talk about <laughs> I'm gonna try for a slightly more snatch nose, but um, please ignore the fact that it is a little crooked. I will be blending that out. Please hold. Just take a little bit of my born this way, just a teensier, just a teensy bit. <laughs> and reinforce the light right down the middle. There is a pretty good, there's a solid contour right there. It's not perfect. I mean, noses aren't perfect, but there we go. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, I went a little ham on that side. Ooh. Trying to carry it all, <laughs> carry it all the way around the planet. Yeah, I like that. Let's set this. Seeing people mix their translucent powders, I think that's really interesting. I've never actually done it. I probably won't do it now, but I've, ne I've never done it, but it looks like it could be, like I have an interesting effect. So I'm just gonna pat this in here to set the foundation. This is a banana powder from Makeup Revolution. I really like the way that's going on. I'm gonna powder my eyelids too, because I've got that concealer up there. And uh, even though I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do today, I know it needs to stay stiff. <laughs> needs to stay put. I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna set the exterior of my face with the uh, with the browner powder from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back and define 
I'm gonna go back and define underneath my cheekbones with a little bit of powder. Ah, look at that cut. Look at that cut. I like that. Yes. Now I can eat cupcakes today. <laughs> Don't be playing. Don't play. You know you only go to the baby shower for the cupcakes. Let's not kid a kidder, okay? I know why you go. You know why I go. Let's all be honest and friends together with cupcakes. Okay, now that my face is set and I'm really happy with where we landed here, and I'll add my bronzer and my blush and my highlighter later, but uh, now I want to start with my brows and then we'll go on to the eyes. I'll be right back. So, brows are done. I also primed my eyes while we were there just so that I can keep the makeup on my face, including the shadow. I know I always say that. It's not like I've ever looked up and like my makeup was gone, um, but... I, just, I don't like to prepare for every eventuality like you know what if you know I'm actually gonna go into a not an old school palette but there's there's a new palette like every week coming out so I'm actually gonna go into a palette I've had for a while this is from Colourpop this is a Dream Street by Kathleen Lights and uh, Colourpop I, I don't know I think I talk about them a lot on my channel but Colourpop is the goat the only thing I don't like about this palette is that one let's see one it has no mirror but the colors are awesome um and it's interesting i'm looking at this on camera and this is coming up as a yellow but it's actually more of a hmm of a of a nude shade so i'm actually going to start there that color is called uh, hmm. i think because <laughs> they're all mixed up way better potion I think that color is stardust or is it magical it's probably magical because it's a matte anyways I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna put that right in my crease as a transition shade and I'm going from my crease and fairly close to my brow bone stuff I'm going to take what I believe is potion it's this one in the second row it's more of a reddish brown than an orange like it's showing up I'm also going to put this in the crease, not as high, but I'm going to use this as also as a transition color. And oh, she's pigmented. So I'm putting her in right now. And then I'm going to go back and swirl her out. And yeah, I'm using the same brush. Um, and I really like that color. So I'm, I'm going to keep layering slowly. The pigment is actually there. I just don't want to... Um, come out looking like the Disney villain. <laughs> and actually I'm carrying that in here, not too much. It's, it's very, very dispersed once it gets inside. So it's most intense on the outside. And then as I bring it in, it gets a little bit less intense. She's even, right? We don't want one eye bigger than the other. Great. I am going to add some brown. I like brown. I'm gonna add some brown and I'm gonna put the brown slightly in my crease and then also on the corner of my eye and kind of give it some depth in this outer corner. All right, so I'm putting this right in the crease and this is a stiff brush, so it's gonna pack that color in there. It's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty shocking. So we're gonna, we're gonna start light. Okay, that's your motto. Woo. Start light. Yep, and I'm making kind of a triangle coming from this corner out into my lid and then I'm gonna go up into my crease. A pretty heavy shadow, so I'm gonna go in and add back the color we just had with a little bit of a swirl. And that one is Honestly, I'm not sure if this is water bearer or if this is potion because water bearer could be the pot you bear the water in, but potion could be the color of the icky potion that you're supposed to drink. I'm not sure. Anyway, brown.
a little more subtle, not gone, but subtle. Okay, next we are going to put something fun on the lid, which is glitter, of course. Who doesn't love glitter? So this one, if the previous color was elfish, this is, ooh, this is kaleidoscope. It's in the bottom left-hand corner. It's kind of a, it's like a, it would be ice blue, except that it's got these shifts of like a little bit of brown and a little bit of like, it's not, it's like silvery. I don't know. It is gorgeous. So I'm gonna put that on my whole lid. Or do I wanna do a halo? I kinda want it on my whole lid. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go for the whole lid. Woo! And I'm patting, not dragging, because then I will have glitter all over my face until God, God comes back. Yes, this color is a winner. It reminds me of that really awesome color in Shayla's palette. The one that looks like, it's a little browner, it looks like Spanish Fly. But they're both magical. It's not, it's not September and it's not Titus. It's something else. Which, by the way, how sweet is it that she named a color after her dog? Like, that's some stuff I would do. I mean, it's your baby, right? Not baby like fur baby like dress him, but baby like you love him and you miss him. So shout out to Titus. Right at the lash line with my finger. I hate having that empty line of just like slightly painted, slightly not skin. I don't like that look. So I'm gonna do this. I'm going to line my eyes, but I also want this. I have very little fallout, which is amazeballs. Amazing, amazeballs, whatever, you know what I mean. Get rid of what I do see. Yo, I love this palette. Did I already say that? I love this palette. It's one of the first things I ever bought from ColourPop and all the colors hit and I was like, wow, son. Next step, bottom lash line. I feel like a little bit of purple wouldn't be out of place here with the darker brown and the red and the blue-ish, green-ish shine. The name is Grapevine. So I changed my mind midstream and went for we went for black instead of for grapevine. It was too much color change. But this is the same liner. It probably doesn't have a color. It's probably just called black. Now we're going to smudge some color on the bottom. Of course, to set this la the liner because it is down there pretty low. But also um, to add a softness to the bottom. All right. So I will be using the reddish brown, which we still aren't sure if it's potion or water, bar water bearer. And... I don't know where that accent came from. Water bearer. And <laughs> please don't be offended. Somebody's going to get mad in my comments. Water bearer. And then I will also put elfish down there. Right, just to smudge it out a little darker color. A little uh, dark shadow love. I am going to do an inner corner highlight, but I'll do that after I do my liner and my lashes. New product alert! So, well, not brand new, but new to me. The Too Faced sketch marker, You're So Too Faced. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment or what, but it's cute. She's cute. Let's give it a try. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous because all of this is just so right. Mm. She go, mm. We're going to try. We'll see what happens. That is actually pretty doggone good. It's a felt tip liner and I expected it to be a little bit more difficult to work with, but it was actually really easy. And if you're wondering, I am neither breathing nor dragging completely. I am dashing because just we're so far in. We've committed so much and I don't want to mess her up. Yo, this sucker might be magical. Hey, how you doing? What your name is though? What's your name? What's your name? I did go a little bit ham on the inner corner, so I might have to figure out what I'm gonna do about my inner corner highlight, but that's for later. All right, 
now we're gonna do lashes. Now the lashes are on, and I think it's time for some inner eye, inner corner highlight. I believe it's called Magical, right here. And it's so clean and pretty and pristine. I'm not sure if I've actually used it before. So, let's see. Just a little bit, and what I did, I didn't put it over, can you see? I didn't put it over the black that's on the inner corner. Instead, I put it inside and up kind of into this blue situation we've got going on. I'm gonna go back to the first, first, first color. See how I like that up there. And yeah, since it was a matte shade, it's giving me kind of a nude line right at the very top of my shadow. Ooh. I like looking at her, hey, okay. And the lashes that I have on are a little set from Kiss, their new Lux line they have, they're faux mink and they're called Little Black Dress. I like that, I like that. <laughs> Please excuse my goofiness, I told you it was coming. All right, so we're gonna start with bronzer. Next, we are going to do highlighter. We're gonna do the uh, Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And of course, you don't have to use a tiny brush, but I like control so I don't mess my stuff up, you know. And then I'm gonna go over with a slightly bigger brush just to settle it more. Oh, look it. Ooh, glow. Ooh, glow. Ooh, I see you. Hey, hey. Button nose alive. Ah, yes. All right, blush. And then we're done. I'm gonna go with the Sweetest Cocoa Blush from MAC. And last but not least, I lied. Last but not least, we're gonna do lips. Actually, before I put on lips, that's set. I'm gonna do this with the SETI, mm -mm, with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Mm. Smells like grandma's. Okay, so now we're gonna do lips. We're gonna start with the Chicory Lip Liner from MAC. Oh. All right, next we're gonna go in with I Love Strahi Dose of Colors. And my goal is to wear this without a gloss because last time I wore it with one because it just wasn't comfortable. Ooh, it's pretty. Okay. So, I think that looks good. I'm gonna go back over it with the chicory just a little bit. Um, I appreciated the chance to try the I Love Sarahi again on camera and uh, share it with you all. Uh, this is the finished look. I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised by that Too Faced, You're So Too Faced um, eyeliner. Probably because it came in a set with a full size better than sex mascara. And I thought, well, if it's free, how good is it really gonna be? Really, really good. Do you see this line? Do you see this line? Okay, you see it, great. So I have to say that's my number one shout out for this tutorial. I will also say that the uh, Max Pro Longwear Foundation, and I did it in, uh, let's see, in MW45, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too dark, but after I have everything on, I feel like it's a really good, it's a good agreement considering how much sun I've been getting lately, catching some sun, catching some shade. So, I have to say, I'm really happy with the way this came out. If you haven't tried ColourPop, go try ColourPop. I will leave links down below for everything that I used today. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, join the family. I will keep sharing things as I discover them. I'll keep exploring things. And if there's anything you want me to try, shout me out, let me know. And please, please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and have an awesome day.